Hey, what's up, guys? It's RJ and Omni from AjimaHunter.com back in Evolve, bringing you a tip for my favorite support, which is Bucket. What's the A stand for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but Bucket is the second tier support you unlock in the game. And uh, one perk Whoa. that I usually like to use with him is the quick switch, as uh -huh. I like to do with a lot of them, because as a support, you're kind of switching in between weapons, bouncing around the field, so you know right. you want to do some damage, and you want to switch to your other weapon to make sure that you just, you know, get shit done. Now, mm -hmm. as Bucket, your primary focus is tracking the monster, believe it or not. Yeah. So even though there's trappers, he can take off his head and deploy what? it as a, as a mobile camera. Whoa, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, and you can fly around the map way faster than any player can. Right, right. And um, you basically it helps uh, scour ahead and look for tracks. You can know. you tag uh, as the head? Well, that's the thing. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so I'll show you here. I do it anyways, even when we catch him. See that right. yellow bar? Yep. That'll fill up, and then once it fills up, you tag the monster for a short amount of time. Oh, so followed it's even... by that red dot. Oh, cool. So it's even better tag than just, like, the tag everyone has. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, so what you want to do usually in an encounter is I'll, I'll start and just throw down a bunch of turrets just to kind of keep an area secured and protected. Are those damage turrets? They just yes. They okay, cool. They're machine gun turrets, basically. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You'll hear a really whiny noise. Yep. If you hear it, it's like, Beep! that's the turrets locking on and shooting. Oh, cool. Um, and then after you do that, you know, you have the cloaking field, like all supports, so, you know, if you need to go revive someone or if you need to mm -hmm. just run away from the monster, you can always deploy that. But ro uh, Bucket has this is his primary weapon. He has a rocket launcher. Oh, cool. So he deals he deals heavy damage. Um, only four shots, but it's he's a really good damage-dealing support. That's pretty crazy. Uh, and yeah. does the cloaking field, does that work on your teammates as well? Yeah, it's a, it's okay. a small area around. And then, gotcha. of course, you know, when the shield's running out, I'll just throw up my head and make mm -hmm. sure that he can't escape. Right. Yeah. Uh, as you can see here, it's kind of... Y you have to chase him a bit, because if he breaks line of sight... Uh, right, right, right. ...scan doesn't fully finish. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. Uh, you really want to make sure that you can find him. A good monster uh, will be able to sneak it. But mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's pretty hard. Although it does have at the bottom, I don't know if you notice, it does have a certain amount of battery life before uh -huh. it actually detonates. So now, I'm just showing a quick strategy here. So, this on this specific map is really good for the hunters because as you can see here you can set up up to five different things so yeah. I have five turrets set up around the generator and what you want to do is place a mine as Markov underneath each one right so that oh. if the monster goes to attack them it walks through the mine oh that's cool yeah and what you also want to do is you want to put harpoon traps down oh as that's so messed up that's right. cool you just have so all the like deployables in one spot exactly then, oh, cool it's a it's a really good strategy um I have seen very few people lost lose as it against a monster. Uh -huh. it, it you just fall apart because if you either you ignore the turrets and then take the damage, right. or if you want to go kill the turrets, you have to blow yourself up and get <laughs> tethered to a harpoon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, see, yeah, that's, good. that's good strategy. It is I can really see good. That. That's pretty yeah. badass. And as long as you just focus on like resupplying the deployables, like uh -huh. while you're in the fight, it'll yep. it'll go over, no problem. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It is a really good strategy. Uh, it totally makes sense too. Three different t people on the team with deployables all putting them in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. And here's just uh, some B-roll of the of what happening of what's happening. So as you can see right there, buckets rockets can actually blow up the rocks that uh -huh. he throws. Same oh, with cool. um, Markov's mines. If he uh -huh. throws a, a rock and it goes within the range of Markov's mines, it'll blow up the rock. That's pretty handy. It is. It is really handy. Um, Although, one thing I don't recommend, though, is when uh, going against a Kraken, I would not use Bucket, uh, right. because the range on the turrets does not reach the Kraken from, like, on a cliff oh. or something. Yeah. Right, you'd have to have a pretty good vantage point, and because the Kraken usually seeps, seeks out open areas, uh -huh. he, he, he kind of loses his um, luster. It makes sense to use the correct person to the correct monster and whatnot. Give right, some right. Strategy. Oh, yeah, of course. This game actually has a lot of strategy, if you can figure it out. Oh, I can absolutely see that, yeah. Yeah, one of the videos we'll do is of uh, the support, the final support, which is Cabot, and the mm -hmm. final assault, which is Parnell. Cool. And combined, my friend and I have done over fifty thousand damage. Oh my Because God. Cabot has a damage booster, and Parnell has a stim, which makes him do more damage. That's so cool. Yeah, it's. Uh, but um, so that's pretty much bucket, and you play your cards right, you'll beat a hunter or a monster every time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hey, bucket seems pretty cool. Bucket is pretty cool. He's nice. my favorite looking because he's a snarky robot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. He has a British accent, of <laughs> course.